Well, good morning, folks. Man, have we got another beautiful day. Sun is shining bright. And boy, how to do. I need to get my grass mowed. My goodness. Rain, all the rain we got yesterday and storms went through. Of course, it needs to be mowed then. But uh, really made it pop. But I want to take you down to the greenhouse and show you how, show you the update here. Uh, now, the last video I posted, let me get out of this breeze. The last video that I posted, okay. Yeah, I'll go on in. There's my buddy. The last video I posted was on the 20th. Today's the 30th, so I wanted to show you 10 days uh, of growth here uh, in the greenhouse. So I'll turn you around here. Look at these cucumbers. Ten days. How much they have grown. And look at this. And look at these beans. Now let's see, that helped. 83 degrees down here a few minutes ago and oh goodness the humidity was 60 68 percent I think so that uh, that breeze sure helped those fans are kicking on now look look at these vines look at this growth and look at these blooms that are just ready to pop over there Here's some more. And then look over here. But these, uh, sorry kitty, I didn't mean to kick you again. I don't think I'm good at that. Typical preacher, I guess, stepping on people's toes. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I've had the, I've had the question like in uh, in these buckets here if I'm running an air stone let me make sure I'm zoomed out okay um, and the question is no I'm not running an air stone in the buckets but I have one in the reservoir and if you can see down in there trying not to try get me out of the shadow here you can see my pump which is uh, I need to add some water to it shortly the reservoir is down to the top of the pump there uh, but the air pump that I'm using is by General Hydroponics. You can see there. And if you look at the label, let me try to zoom in here. If you look at the label, it gives you all the stats on the on the motor and so forth, the air supply. But look at here. It only uses 8 watts of power, which is just phenomenal. Because it's, zoom out again, it's got four outputs here, which I'm using three. I've got this one here to the uh, bean reservoir here. Uh, this one goes to the NFT system right over here. The yellow, the yellow tote there feeds air stone in that one, and then the third one goes to the reservoir back here for the cucumbers. I'll look back here. Now uh, this reservoir right here. So this is the see down in there or not. Uh, I'm getting the plant. I need to add some water in that one too. Because these plants uh, are growing like mad, <laughs> as you can see. And uh, they are really sucking up the water. And look right down in there. Beautiful. I understand that that is the female blossom. Because that is on the end of the fruit. So I'm anxious to see some male blossoms. Make sure we get things pollinated. But look at these tomatoes. Aren't they beautiful? And yeah, there's another zucchini, which I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing as it grows. Uh, but we'll see. As I said, this, this whole thing is an experiment. This is my first year at this. So I am learning. And what I would advise any of you all who are watching these videos, my primary advice the very first thing I would recommend that you do 
before you spend a penny is that you go to YouTube University and you watch tons and tons of videos and you can type in and search for any and every aspect that you're interested in and you'll find tons of videos and information on the very thing that you are wanting to do and the only exception that I have found to that is my question of whether or not to prune bean plants I can't find really any substantial information on that it just seems like in my way of thinking that if I were to prune a lot of this foliage off of the bottom then that would uh, encourage a massive amount more of nutrients to go into the vines blooms and fruiting and I actually did this one plant that very thing uh, on this one here just to see uh, if it had any adverse reaction uh, to that and so far uh, it, it's still been growing great I mean look at how far up that vine goes and I've, I've clipped the end I've clipped to the end of almost all of these vines so hopefully they would stop growing and when they got up to there and then uh, focus all the energy into the development of the blooms and fruits and so forth and uh, then another little problem I've been seeing is like this right here see this leaf right here there and then uh, there's another one right there and uh, a couple of evening, evenings ago I came in here and there were I don't know three four maybe five leaves that it looked like somebody had taken a lighter and literally burned half the leaf away. The, the edge was ragged and charred, black charred looking. And have no idea what that is. Uh, but anyway, at least at this point, it doesn't seem to be having uh, an adverse effect on the growth of the beans. So anyway, again, you can see, I just wanted you to see what has taken place just in 10 days since you've seen the last one. If you haven't seen the last video, go back and watch it and compare uh, the growth of these, uh, of these plants. And here's, here's my lettuce. This is romaine. And then I have two varieties of kale, which again, I don't know if this kale, if this is normal or if it's really spindly and needs more nutrients, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's... Uh, We'll see as things go along, and uh, this here I think is uh, broccoli actually, right here. And uh, this is uh, this is kale. This is actually the variety. It's called Spring Smooth Kale. And uh, this up here is the dwarf curly uh, version of kale. But anyway, again, this is an experiment, and we're going to see how things uh, go in, in the growth, and I see. I'm having some little suckers coming on and I'm not sure yet just what procedure I'm going to take. I've, I've seen one one method where they will take these stems, prune these stems off and allow one sucker to come out strong and have two tier, have two vines, two main vines. Um, well anyway, it's, I've got time to decide yet just what I want to do there. But anyway, that's uh, this is where we're at. And I just wanted to show you an update on this. And uh, y'all stay tuned. Share these videos. Uh, help us to uh, get information like this out to others uh, as a community of growers. Uh, again, I'm learning. And let's learn and grow together. <laughs> uh, pun intended <clears throat> with the grow together. But uh, until our next video, folks, God bless all of you. And uh, stay green.